I have a really nice wide board uh, of walnut that I'm going to use for both of my rear legs. The one I happen to have here is nine and a half inches wide, which is going to be enough for both of my rear legs. However, if you have one that's thinner, you may be able to only fit one leg on that. So my board is really nice straight grain, so I don't have to worry too much about positioning this template on the, rear, on the board itself. What you want to do is make sure that the grain is as straight as possible, especially in the area from the seat down to the bottom of this leg. The reason is because there's a lot of stress on this area of the chair as you're rocking back and forth, and you want to make sure it has a nice straight grain to improve the strength of it. Now, the templates that come with this DVD, there are a couple of registration marks right here, and that's going to help you line up um, the template later on when we have a jig to cut off this front section right here. It's very important that this front part of the joint is exactly straight up and down at a 90 degrees to the seat. In other words, it can't be cut at an angle here or else the rear leg would sit incorrectly and it would rock incorrectly. So here's what I want you to do. When you trace this template onto your, your board, I want you to trace it and leave it a little bit fat in this section right here. Just right here where the, where the joint is, where it matches up with the seat. Leave that little bit fat here. We're going to come back later with a jig and cut this off at the proper angle. For right now, we can go ahead and put the rear leg templates on our joint, on our board, and we can trace those out.